Here we're going to see another example. In this example, we will try to write a Verilog code for this circuit. As you can see here, we have two inputs, but both have three bits, as you can see here. A2, A1, A0, B2, B1, and B0. As you can see, most significant bits, A2 and B2, are ended here. And the result is out 2. And A1 and B1 is out here, and the result is out 1. And A0 and B0 are ended here, and the result is out 0. So, we can infer that out is also 3 bits. Let's try to write a world of code for this circuit. Now I'm defining my input as input A and B, but here I will write here in brackets 2 and 0 here, and this means that A and B both have 3 bits. And again, my output, its name is out, and it also has 3 bits, like this. This is the way we define inputs or outputs having more than 1 bit. So let's check the circuit here. A2 and B2 are ended here, and the result is out 2. So let's write it. With the assign command, assign out 2, it means that the most significant bit of the output is equal to A2 and B2. So let's do the same thing for the other output values. Again, copy paste here and out 1, out 0 here, and this again 1, 1, and 0. 0 but here should be or and this should be NAND so NAND means not of AND so it can be written like this and control S in order to check where is whether there is any problem or error so it's okay there is no problem or error here in the circuit so let's try to write the test bench of the circuit And here I will define the inputs and output of the test bench. As you can remember from the previous video, the inputs of the test bench is in the format of register. So I can write the input like this for A and for B, it should be like this. And for the output, I can use wire. But it's again, it should be again. 3 bits. Three out. Right. Then I will use the unit under test. My module name here is exp, as you can see here, and unit under test, and open and close parentheses, and inputs are Inputs, inputs can be combined like this, point A and A. You're not supposed to combine them bit by bit, it's also okay. So point B and B and point out with out. And 
it's okay. Then I will change my input initial begin and end and after that I can write here for example if I write here a is equal to 2 bit binary 001 let's say and B is 2 bit binary 101 it means that A is 001 and B is 101 it means that 2 bits two, uh, I'm sorry I should write here 3 bits 3 bits uh, 3 bits binary 001 it is in the binary format and this is the 3 bit number 001 it, it means that actually I can write a comment here a a2 is equal to 0 and a1 is here equal to 0 again and a0 is equal to 1 this is the same thing this is the same thing with this one but this is more easy to write and read so I use this format and again the same thing for the B B2 is 1, B1 is 0 and B0 is 1 let's write here another input after waiting some time for example none on a second that for example again copy this one and this time 1 0 0 and 0 0 1 this is another input let's write again another input combination here at this time be 1 1 1 and 0 0 0 and run the simulation these are the results let's check whether they are true or not between 0 and 10 input A is 1 and B is 5 5 means in binary format this is A is 1 0 0 1 and 5 is 1 0 1 here most significant bits are ended so output should be here for these one uh, 0 and 1 and 0 here these are OR and the result should be 0 and this is the final result so 1 1 and then that the result is 0 so output should be 0 let's check as you can see here the output here is 0 and between 10 and 20 inputs are 4 and 1 and the output is 1 let's check 4 means 1 0 0 and B was 0 0 1 output should be 1 uh, and 0 ended 0 and this is 0 and 0 or 0 and here 0 and 1 is ended and the result is 1 so let's check here again the result is 1 and finally between 20 and 30 7 0 and the result is 3 let's see this is 7 and this is 0 let's see the result 1 0 and it's 0 1 0 or 1 1 0 and ended and 1 so this is 3 in decimal so again this is also correct